YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bald fade with a textured top. So I like to begin each cut by brushing or combing out my client's hair. In this case, if you notice, he has a really huge cowlick right here in the back. So I decided to go ahead and apply some water so I could gain complete control of his hair. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start this haircut off a little bit different than I typically do. So what I'm doing right here is I'm coming in with my gamma hitters and I'm establishing the length of the look for the haircut that I'm going to give him. Um, I am going to give him a textured top. So some might call this a crop. Um, you could call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it a nice haircut. But what I'm doing right here is I'm establishing the length of the cut that I want to give him. Alright, so now that I established the length of the haircut, I'm going to come in with my wall number two guard with the lever fully open. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, set a perimeter around his head, if you will. And the reason why I'm choosing to do it with the number two guard with the lever open, in my opinion, that is a good length to bridge the gap from that blurry blend to that length on top. So when it comes to connecting the two, that two and a half is really going to help and it's going to allow it to not be a struggle for me. Alright, so now that I have my perimeter established, I'm going to come back in with my wall cordless senior with the lever closed and I'm going to begin to set and create my first guideline, which is going to be my bald guide. You are going to notice that I leave the hair below the guide that I set and that's because I'm going to remove it later with a trimmer and then a shaver. For those of you watching right now that don't own those tools, what you're going to want to do is remove all the hair under the guide you create right now. So now I flip my clipper over and I'm going to make sure to really clean up underneath that guide that I set. So when I transition from completely bald into stubble and then into that length, it's a nice smooth transition. So I've been reading a lot in the comments section lately that people are really struggling removing that bald guideline created and there's a lot of people at home cutting right now that typically aren't. So for those of you that struggle with removing that bald guideline, creating and setting it in just like this is going to eliminate all that struggle when it comes time to remove it. Alright, so now that my work area is starting to get cleaned up, I want to clean it up just a little bit more and remove the weight that you're seeing falling between the teeth of my comb. So I'm going to use clipper over comb to eliminate that. So I'm going to come in with the wall number one guard on my clipper with the lever closed and I'm going to use the comb. And the reason why I'm choosing to do that is because with that guard on there, it's running a lot lower of a risk for me to remove too much hair. And you could see that there wasn't a lot, but there was definitely some weight present. So that that number one guard is kind of acting like a safety guard. And even with my experience with clipper over comb, and you could see any video I've ever done, I always use clipper over comb. Um, some people will try to clown and say that's like training wheels, but in my opinion, it's better to work smarter and not harder. So now that I got that cleaned up, I'm going to come in with my wall cordless senior again, this time with the lever fully open, and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. So 
so my boy here doesn't have necessarily the easiest hair to cut nor blend out so i went ahead and ran everything in real time that way you guys could kind of get the full potential of what i'm trying to show you so now that my guide was created with that lever open i'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of it and little by little as i work my way up i'm going to stop and slightly open my lever every time that i do that and i start to work my way up again you're going to notice that that guideline is going to move up with me but that's okay because that's exactly what i'm looking for by the time i get towards the top of this guideline and my lever is fully extended it'll be completely blended out All right, so I'm getting towards the end of my steps and as I'm looking at the blend, I'm noticing a lot of blemishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some detail work right here with some lever play. And lever play just means I'm gonna open and close my lever as needed. And I'm gonna use a lot of the corner of the blade right now. That way I don't run the risk of creating any type of new guide or a harsh line that's hard to remove. So I would suggest if you're new to this, literally really use only the corner of your blade um, if you have some expertise obviously and you're comfortable with um, using your blade just go in there in detail and clean up any dark spots that you may see All right, so now that I finally got that blended out, I'm gonna come in with my wall number one guard with my lever fully open, and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. I am gonna give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything consistent with this blend. You'll also notice that I'm using that slight flick out motion as I get towards the top of the guide that I'm creating. And that's because I want to go ahead and set that in softly so it's easier for me to transition into my next step. Once I clean everything up with the lever fully open, you'll see that I'll close my lever and I'll begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of that guide. And I'm going to take that one close right up to underneath where I just left off with that one fully open. Again, that's right up to underneath where I just left off with that one fully open. And you know what's funny is I always get asked in the comment section, why do you take that one close right up to underneath where you just left off with that one fully open? And why didn't you just create the guide with the lever fully closed? And the reason that is, how could I explain it? Anytime you create a guideline with the lever fully open, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to blend out and it's also a lot easier to transition into your next guide or step. So anytime you see me create a guideline, I'm always going to create it with the lever fully open for those reasons. Alright, so the one close tends to leave weight behind, so I'm going to show you how to remove that right now using the wall half guard. So again, I'm going to come in with my lever fully open, and this time I'm going to begin to attack right above the weight that I see. Again, I'm going to attack right above the weight that I see, and then I'm going to use that fade down process to eliminate it, meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until this guide's completely blended out. If for some reason your half guard does not remove that guide, what you're going to want to do is take it off, fully extend the lever on your clipper and begin to attack the weight that you see using the corner of your blade only. And use your discretion, you'll close your blade as needed just like you would with this half guard.
so I kind of mentioned this before but my boy right here doesn't have the easiest hair to blend out nor cut he's got a crazy cowlick in the back his hair anytime you knock it down it always delivers uh, blemishes and dark spots no matter what his head takes somewhat of a, a not an awkward shape but I'd say a different shape here towards the back you could kind of see a shadow um, that's starting to be created in the back that I'm gonna have to blend out and even with all those troubled areas I'm still gonna work myself through the same process trust it and take whatever time is needed to deliver the cleanest haircut I can to my boy right here and I know that's exactly what separates me from the last barber chair he sat in because since he sat in my chair he hasn't been anywhere else so keep that in mind not every haircut's gonna be simple but also every haircut's not gonna be hard All right, so now that I blended that out, I'm taking a look and I feel like there needs to be a little bit more gradiency with this blend, that way it pops more. And I'm looking to stretch that blend, so I'm gonna use the wall one and a half guard to do so. And when I do this, this is actually gonna raise the fade. So I am going into that area that I already kind of established where I wanted to stop. But again, I'm doing it so I could stretch the blend. You could see it kind of happening right now. I'm taking out some of that darkness and I'm, and I'm allowing that blend to pop just a little bit more by stretching it. So once I clean everything up with that lever open, you'll see that I'll close my lever as needed, just working out these dark spots and inconsistencies that I see. All right, so now that I was able to stretch the blend, I'm still noticing a few dark spots that I wanna get rid of, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some detail work. So since I was just cleaning up with the one and a half with the lever closed, I'm gonna drop down to the guard right beneath that to knock out these dark spots. So I'm coming in with my wall number one guard with the lever fully open. And again, I'm just tacking any dark spots or blemishes that I see, and I'll close my lever as needed until that's completely blended out. All right, so now that my blend's coming together, I'm gonna have to go ahead and reconnect that blend into that length on top. And I knew I was gonna have to repeat this step once I did stretch that blend, and sometimes it happens. And whether it happened on purpose or whether it happened on accident, don't let it be the end of the world and just continue to trust the process and you'll see that everything will come together as it should. So right here, again, I'm using clipper over comb to connect that the best way that I can. And this time I'm choosing to come in with no guard on my clipper, but I do have the lever open. And again, the lever open is just allowing it to be a little bit more forgiving because I'm not trying to set anything harsh in right here. I'm trying to connect it the best that I can and give the illusion that it's all blended together. If I were to come in with the lever fully closed, it's gonna give me a sharper cut on the hair and that's not what I'm looking for right now. And you could also see that I'm angling my comb between like a 45 degree angle and a 90 degree angle and that's because I'm trying to retain somewhat of a box shape for my client's head opposed to rounding off his haircut.
All right, so I'm also gonna clean up my client's beard for him, and I'm actually gonna repeat the same exact steps. So I'm not gonna walk you guys through them, but I'm literally applying the same exact steps that I just walked you through. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and ride out to this beat. I appreciate everybody that's viewing this right now. If you stuck along for the ride this long, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If at any given point you get confused or lost in this haircut tutorial, go ahead and get active in that comment section below where myself or somebody that belongs to this community will help you get past whatever's got you stuck So right here, I am going to use a wall number two guard with the lever closed to knock everything down evenly. And that's going to be the desired length for my client's beard. Alright, so now that I got everything cleaned up with this beard, before I finalize everything with the straight razor, I'm going to come in with my Babyliss Gold Skeleton FX Trimmer, and I'm going to go ahead and knock down and remove all that bulk that I left in the beginning of the cut. And the reason why I'm choosing to remove it now is because I'm going to go ahead and bald out this area to give a little more pop to the blend. But I did want to leave it because I created that bald guideline with my clipper with the lever closed to help those of you that are watching that struggle removing that bald guideline. You could see that I was able to remove it effortlessly because it was created with the same clipper that I used to remove it. So anytime you set or create that bald guideline, just know that whatever machine you use to create it, that's what you're going to need to use to remove it. I'm also avoiding the lineup area. You could see that I'm leaving a little shadow there and that's because I want his beard to connect into his lineup on top to give it an overall nice look. So right here I'm just making sure that I knock all the stubble down that was created with the trimmer, smoothing everything out and then I'll finalize everything with the straight razor. All right, so before I style out my client and call it good, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of texture to complement his haircut. And so I'm gonna do that by using my shears and you could see that I'm coming in with my shears about halfway closed and I'm slithering them across the hair in somewhat of a formation to keep everything slightly organized. 
but I'm coming in with my shears about halfway closed and I'm slithering them across the hair. And any time it feels like my shears want to stop and not continue to press forward, I'll slightly open and close them and I'll continue to move forward. And again, this is just a cool technique that's going to allow me to add a little bit of texture to my client that's going to complement his cut and style. But speaking of compliment and his cut and style, unfortunately, I didn't have any product when it came to styling them out. All I had was actually this pomade that I would never ever use and that's why it was sitting there and I had to style them out with it. So I wasn't able to complement the texture on top as much as I would have liked. But nonetheless, my client has some at home, so he's going to be looking fresh all by himself this quarantine. So here it is, a look at the final cut. If you got anything useful out this, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only going to get doper from here. Be safe, be healthy, be blessed, and be a blessing. I'm out.